Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Roman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about Service Kit SK-121 Alpha. It's the oversized sleeve when you have too much wear on your ailerons, elevator, or rudder, we will see. But anyway, it's the Service Kit. It's an oversized sleeve of an oversized bearing, and we've never seen one have to be replaced. So stay tuned for some more information about the Service Kit. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So here's a look at the uh, PDF of the service kit, and it gives you all the instructions you need, the materials you need, the part numbers, uh, diagrams, everything you need to construct and do service kit 121 alpha now the parts are available from the gpa we have a service kit in the company store but the big thing here are the diagrams which show you how everything goes together and as you go through the diagrams you're going to be surprised at the count of oversized bearings you could have on an aircraft so let's take a look here at the ailerons these are the outboard ailerons and therefore we pick up two that we would have to do because you have two ailerons and they both have an outboard now, just like on the outboard side of every aileron, we have an inboard side, and since we have two of them, this being brings our bearing count up to four. So now we need four oversized sleeves possibility, and we're just on the ailerons. Now, the torque tubes are awful small on the elevator. So when you look at the inboard side of the elevator, again, because you have two, you pick up a bearing count, which now brings us up to six. And just like the inboard side, every elevator has an outboard, which can have an oversized sleeve, which this is going to bring our bearing count up to eight. So not too bad so far, and we still have the rudder. And as you might guess, you only have one rudder, and it has a top side. So therefore, there's another one, bearing count nine, and it has a bottom, bearing count ten. So not too bad for a whole airplane. Now let's take a little look at a video here of how the sleeves go on with Loctite. We're not going to use any Loctite, but also how the bearing fits over and what it takes to replace of and a little bit more information about that particular bearing set. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we want to talk about the oversized bearing. This is all part of Service Kit 121 Alpha, which used to be provided by the factory. And here's the uh, service kit. It's available on the GPA website. Again, service kit 121 Alpha. And here are all the pertinent pages. It tells you how to inspect, how to slide it on, what Loctite to use, everything you need to do to provide information to you or your mechanic to effect this repair on your aircraft. And then again, once you go to an oversized bearing, we've never seen an oversized bearing wear in 30 something years of service. So stand by. Now, if you need a service kit for this, if you have a worn torque tube and you need to go to the oversized bearing in either the lower rudder or the ailerons, then you'll be calling Yankee Aviation because we have all the parts for the service kit. The stainless steel oversized sleeve, uh, service kit 121 tells you what kind of Loctite you want to put on the inside of this, slide it onto the torque tube where you're worn, and then this oversized bearing, which by the way is the 904. 003-3 and it will then go into this goes into your aileron support that you're used to where the bearing is you'll take out the old bearing put in the oversized bearing you'll see it's a little thinner but then when your torque tube comes through with this stainless steel oversized sleeve on it it will not wear and 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 over the 30 years I've been working in Grumman's for those who have done the oversized bearing kit this bearing will never wear because the torque tube is not going to wear against the stainless steel. So, this is what Service Kit 121 is. This is the stainless steel sleeves. We send a lot of these out to like John Shardima Shop, Excel Air, and others. We have bags of them. But the oversized bearings, again, are the 904-003-1, replacing your 902-013-1 bearing if you need an oversized collar on your torque tube. And again, this will work anywhere you have that smaller torque tube. Outboard aileron and lower run. Those are the only places you have them. I've never seen one have to be installed on the upper rudder. It doesn't wear much up there. And as a reminder, I'd like to let folks know that in the company store on the uh, GPA website, these service kits are available. You can pay with a credit card and shipping, and they're off in the mail to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman.
And in addition, there's a little treat about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy.